Hey guys, my name is Randolph. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've done a tier list and being as Pokemon Sword and Shield is now completely out and now I've also finished my Pokemon Sword playthrough. I thought it was about time that I did a Pokemon Sword and Shield tier list. Now, this is not going to be every single Pokemon that is in Sword and Shield in terms of the older generational Pokemon. This will only include the brand new Generation 8 Pokemon, including the Galar Rian forms and including the Gigantamax Pokemon too. I'm pretty excited for this one. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Don't be mad at me if I put Pokemon in certain places that you don't agree with. It's my opinion only. But with that being said, do let me know down in the comments nicely if you do disagree with me and if I put a Pokemon in a spot you didn't enjoy. Okay, so with any further ado, let's get into this one. Okay, starting with Grookey. Personally, I'm going to put him in the S tier. Obviously, if you guys watch my sword playthrough, you'll know that I chose Grookey as my starter, and I really enjoy his I really enjoy his entire evolutionary line. Okay. Thwacky, however, I'm gonna put in A because I don't really think he deserves to be in S tier. I'm also gonna do the same with Rillaboom. Like I do love Rillaboom, don't get me wrong, but I don't think he's in that S tier compared to Grookey, you know? Next up we have Score Bunny. I'm gonna put Score Bunny in the A tier because I do really enjoy his or her form sure. Raboot, I'm going to put in A as well. I really like this middle evolution Pokemon. However, Cinder Ace for me personally, I'm going to put, I'm going to put it in the B column because when I first saw it, I didn't like it. I thought it just looked like a person, like a furry <laughs> or a person wearing shorts. Um, but then after I, after I started playing, I, I used it in my sword playthrough after I saw its custom, uh, it's, it's Pyro Ball, is it? It's actual like signature move. I thought that looked really nice and it has grown on me a little bit. Otherwise, I would have put it in probably D. When I first saw it, I hated this thing, but it did grow on me, okay? Sobble is also going to go into the A tier. I do really like Sobble and maybe in a different playthrough, I would have chosen it. But uh, for now, it's going to go in A. I don't think it deserves to be on the top tier like Grookey, but I also really like it as a starter Pokemon. Next up, we're going to put this thing here, which I'm not even sure of this. I can't even remember its name. Drizzle, is it? Is it called Drizzle? I'm not sure, man. I'm, I'm gonna put it in B. You know what? I'm gonna put it in C. I'm not really a fan of the whole the web the web gloves, you know. I'm not really a fan of that. And then Inteleon, I'm gonna put Inteleon in A because personally, I know this is gonna also <laughs> be a little bit controversial. I know a lot of people aren't massive fans of it, but I, I actually enjoy it. I know it looks weird, and again, it has the same issue as Cinderace, where it's kind of like stood up and it looks a bit too much like a human. But I do, I do enjoy it in the way it like shoots things out of its hands. That's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Scrovit, we're gonna put in C. Impartial to it, really. Didn't use it. It's just one of them normal type Pokemon at the start of the games, right? Greedon, I'm gonna put in D. I don't have a lot of things against it. I just don't think it fits. It, it, just, it looks too much like a Disney character and not enough like a Pokemon, okay? Rookie D is gonna go in S tier. I mean, look at that bird, man. Look at that cute little ball of bird. <laughs> it's, just, it's just awesome. Corby Squire is gonna go in the A tier because I do enjoy it, but I didn't like, I didn't find myself attached to it in my gameplay or in my playthrough as much as I did with Rookie D and then Corby Knight. Corby Knight is gonna go in the S tier for me. It just, it just is going to. I haven't actually used the Gigantamax version of a lot of these Pokemon to be fair. So I'm gonna do this based on the, on the looks alone. I haven't yet gone and caught all of the Gigantamax Pokemon and that is just because because I've been playing, well, I was playing the series so long, it spread over a, a long period of time because I was very busy with other things. And then I started filling my Pokedex up and then now I'm shiny hunting on my channel. By the way, I did do a live stream on this channel last night where I was shiny hunting. It went really well up until my stream crashed because of some internet issues. I think Google have been having a lot of issues with their platform, but I'm gonna make sure it's gonna be on point for next time. So make sure you guys turn the notifications on to see when I actually go live. Currently we're hunting a shiny Galarian Meowth. So it's very exciting. Make sure you check that out. Also, I've now opened membership on this channel, so if you would like to support me, it's not required. If you would like to support me, make sure you either press the join button down below or click the link in the description if you're on mobile to join as a member. I've got a bunch of different tiers. The cheapest tier is like $1.99 and that allows you to get access to the member only live streams and also the member only chat on the live stream to use a bunch of different emojis. And then the rest of the tiers have their own perks, but every tier from secret rare all the way down to gem mint 10 does allow you access to my private discord channel where I talk directly to you guys. We'll even do voice chats as well sometimes. So if you want to get that, make sure you do so right now. But like I said, it's not required at all. It's just to uh, support me if you guys would like to do that. So I'm, I'm going to leave the Gigantamax Pokemon to the end just because I haven't used them yet. I don't want to clog the whole list up until I finish the rest of the Pokedex. Okay. Blitbug is going to go into B. I don't love it, but I don't hate it and I actually quite like its design. Doppler is going to go into... Mm, Doppler is going to go... C. Now I do like its design, but it's just one of their middle awkward Pokemon, you know? I just, when I was using it, I just felt like I couldn't connect with it that much. I do like it, 
for now, I'm going to leave it in C. I'm going to leave it in C. Orbital is going to go into A. And by the way, now we're getting to this point in the screen, my face might be covering up these Pokemon. So if that's the case, maybe Laura could just kind of hide my image while I put it on the tier list and then bring it back after that. I will review everything when we get to the end. Okay, next up we have Nickit. Now, I was going to use Nickit in my playthrough. I even caught one and called it Firefox because <laughs> literally when I start playing the game, it was red, so I just assumed it was a fire Pokemon, but it's actually a dark Pokemon. And I do like the design, but I didn't I didn't feel myself attached to it that much, so I'm going to put Nickit and Feeble in the C column. C category, unfortunately. Elder Gloss is going to go into, again, C. I feel like C is a category where it's like, I'm just impartial, you know? D is I don't like it. C is I'm impartial to it. B is I like that Pokemon. A is this Pokemon is awesome. I love it. And then S is just like God tier. You know, it's just like that Pokemon is the best in the whole, you know, region. So Glossy Fleur is also going to go into B. I do like this design a lot more than this. I might be messing up a few of the pronunciations as well. For some reason, when I read Pokemon's names, whatever I see them as, whatever enters my brain as, as soon as I encounter them is what they stay as, okay? So I'm sorry if I do butcher things up. Next up, we have Wooloo. Wooloo is going to go into A for me. I just love this design. It's just a cute little ball of fluff. Like, I just want to kick them around and play football with them. <laughs> I know that's messed up, but that's just, that's just me. Okay, so Dubbo is going to go into B. I don't love it as much as Wooloo, but I think it's a solid Pokemon. Tootle, for me, is going to go in C. I don't love its big head, man. It just looks like it should fall over all the time. But it is, it's all right. It's not awful. It's not awful. Dreadnought is going to go into B. Like, I, I kind of like that Pokemon. You know, I'll allow it. Yamper, I know Laura hates Yamper for some reason. So Laura's going to disagree with this one. But I'm going to put Yamper into B. I do like it. And again, Bolton is also going to go into... You know what? Nah, I'm going to go Yamper in A, Bolton in B. Because Yamper is just such a stupid, dorky derpy Pokemon that it's just it's just great. Roly Coley is gonna go into B right here. Carco is gonna go into C. I don't love this middle middle one. And then Colossal is gonna go into A. And the reason I'm putting Colossal into A is because I actually I'm using it right now to shiny hunt. I'm using it to uh, breed eggs because of its flame body ability. And that for me just puts it high up there, you know. I've, I've started to use this Pokemon in my team and I've become attached to it. I didn't love it when I first saw it, but because it had flame body, I ended up using it. And now, you know, I'm a fan now. Applin is gonna go into B. It's a cool Pokemon. And I do like the fact that it's just an apple with eyes on it, but I'm not crazy about it. Flapple is gonna go into A though. Flapple does belong into A because it's an, it's, a, it's, a, it's an apple dragon, man. What else can you, <laughs> what else can you <laughs> say about it? Appleton is also gonna go into the A column right there. Again, my face is probably hidden right now, but it's all good. It's all good. My brother also likes Appleton, so shout out to him. He's also, I think, going to make a YouTube channel, maybe make some videos. Uh, he's going to be called Professor Oakwood, so maybe when he posts his first video, I'll let you guys know about it. Me and my brother played Pokemon throughout our life together, um, kind of bonded over it as well. So yeah, I'll send you guys some of his videos when he posts them. Until then, watch this space. Next up, we have Silly Cobra. Silly Cobra would be higher in the list if he didn't replace my boy Ekans, so he's going to go into the B color. It, C column, sorry. Yes, yeah, C column. I'm impartial to that. And, it's, and same with Sandaconda. Same with Sandaconda. Cramorant is going to go into B. I do like it, but I haven't used it enough yet to... Oh, does it go into A, though? Does it go into A? It could go into A. I think it's going to go into A. Just because it's how dumb it is. Yeah, because I found out it also throws out a Pikachu out of its mouth and not just an Aracuda. Uh, it definitely went higher in my estimation of it, you know? Aracuda is going to go into B. I'm going to, go to see because again I'm, I'm impartial you know it is what it is I do like it but not enough to use it you know not enough to use it next up we have Toxel Toxel is going to go into the S tier this thing is so cute man so 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 cute when I saw it actually use its moves as well the animation just looked awesome so Toxel is definitely in S tier now Toxtricity is going to be in A. I do like this Pokemon and I do really enjoy it and I love playing with it. I think it's got an awesome ability as well, but I didn't really like, compared to Toxel, it's not in that God tier, you know, that's what I'm saying. The other form of Toxtricity I haven't used yet, but again, I kind of feel the same way about it as I do the other form of Toxtricity. I do like it and I like the this form here more, but I don't dislike this enough to put it into the B column, you know what I'm saying? Next up, we have Sizzlipede. Sizzlipede is going to go into B. I like that Pokemon. Centiscorch is going to go into the A. Uh, category. I use it in my playthrough, as you guys know, and I really do like it. As you can tell, this is kind of top heavy, this tier list. That's why I'm putting Pokemon a little bit lower. Like, usually, I, I, this, this generation in general, I like pretty much all the Pokemon. There's not many Pokemon I dislike, as you can tell. But yeah, it is what it is. Okay, next up, Clubberpus. Clubberpus is going to go into B, because I do like it. 
Graplox is going to go into A because I love this Pokemon. You know, no, no, no. You know what? Graplox is going to go into S tier because I love this Pokemon, but it's so scary at the same time. Like when you're going through the game and you see this octopus thing. So I, I first met this Pokemon in the water, okay? And I thought it was a water Pokemon. It turns out it's a fighting Pokemon, right? I haven't used one yet, but if I wasn't using Surfetch in my playthrough, I definitely would have used this Pokemon. However, when I saw it out of the water, like on land, and it was like running towards me, chasing me down with them big tentacle 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 legs <laughs> yo i was scared man this thing's frightening but i love it it's so sick and weird and twisted sinistee is gonna go into b poltergeist is gonna go into b as well i know my brother loves these pokemon but you know i'm not impartial to them i do really like them and i like the fact that it, i like the story behind it and i like the whole antique and forgery forms but yeah that, that's where i'm putting them okay now we get into hatena and i must admit i'm not really a massive fan of these pokemon only because i haven't used them i haven't i've not really I've not really paid attention to these Pokemon enough, okay? So these are going to go into... I think they're all going to go into the C category. I'm just impartial to them. So we've got Hatena, Hatchrim, and then Hatchreen, I believe that is. And yeah, I'm just a little bit impartial. Impidimp is going to go into the S category because my guy is a Don. Morgrem is going to go into C. I'm not a massive fan of him. But then Grimmsnarl is going to go into the A category for sure. Grimmsnarl is a sick Pokemon. I love that guy. And he's really strong. His typing is awesome as well. So yeah, A category for him. Next up, Galarian Zigzagoon. I'm going to put that into C. Again, I'm impartial to both of these things. And these Lanoons are so annoying in the wild area. They're so fast, man. They just catch up to you so quick. So annoying. But I do like them. I definitely like their designs more than the Hoenn forms, to be honest. I like they've got something a little bit new about them. They probably would go into D if they were in the Hoenn form. I'm sorry, but it's just true. However, Obstagoon is sick. Obstagoon is really cool. Well, he's not sick, but he's just, I like his design, you know, I like him, he's awkward, he's weird, he's creepy, and that's why he's going in there. Glory Meowth, I love this thing, I'm going to put this in A. Berserker, though, I'm going to put in S tier, man, I love this Pokemon, I just, I don't know why, I think I just, I just, I just love it, like, the fact that it's also come from a Meowth makes it a little bit better, in my opinion, but if this Pokemon was on its own, if it was just a one-of-one, -one, I would still put it in S category as well, I think, I, I really like this Pokemon, and I'm, like I said before, I'm currently shiny hunting a Galarian Meowth to hopefully then evolve into a Perserker, which I'm going to call Perserker based after Josh, <laughs> you know? Next up, we have the dead <laughs> Corsola Galarian form. I'm going to put this into, I'm going to put this into B, you know? Because I, th I like the idea of how they just killed a Pokemon. <laughs> and then the Curse Solar. Again, I haven't used enough yet. I'm going to put that in B as well, though. Because I do like the design. I like the idea of that whole evolutionary line. But I haven't really used it or paid attention to it enough yet to kind of put it in the A category. But also not enough to put it in like the C. Because I, I do like it, you know. Next up, Galarian Farfetch'd. And now I do love Surfetch. Surfetch is definitely going to go into the S tier. For me, it's the best, one of the best Pokemon in the entire generation. But Galarian Farfetch'd, like, I don't think it differs enough from the first first design and it doesn't really excite me as much so i'm going to put that into b i would put it into c as in like i'm impartial to it but because it does evolve into the one and only surf fetched i have to put it in b mr mime not a fan of it i think mr mime's creepy anyway and i i, I do like the idea of having a galarian mr mime but i feel like they could have done a bit better of a job you know mr rhyme is cool though mr rhyme's gonna go in c i'm impartial to him because i, I kind of like the idea of mr mime mr rhyme it's like a nice it's a nice play on words, but it's also just uh, it's a nice touch, you know. Galarian Yamask, I use one of these in my team, but again, I don't really, never really care for this Pokemon, to be honest. Rune Regus, I'm going to put this in... I like this Pokemon, I do like this one. It's, it's nice, it's got an interesting design, uh, so yeah, that's going to go into B. Galarian Ponyta is going to go into uh, A, because I do like this. I like, I like this spin on Ponyta, for sure. <laughs> No, nah, I do like it. I do like it. Yeah, I do like it. Galarian Rapid Dash is going to go into B because I've not... Because I played Sword, I haven't actually used Rapid Dash in-game. And for me, I kind of wish they went with like a winged version of this Rapid Dash rather than just going with like a plain unicorn. I like the way they went with Ponyta, but I could have guessed this is the way they were going to go with Rapid Dash, if that, if that makes sense. So I'm going to put that in B. I like it. I'm not impartial to it, but it is where it is. Galarian Weezing is going to go into B. I like it. I don't like it enough. To go into the higher categories but i do i do like it and i do think it's kind of cool uh and it's definitely it's definitely controversial you know and, and that's what i like i love the whole top hat with the steam coming out of it it's very you know what now nah, i'm going now nah, staying in b staying in b glorian daramaka now daramaka was one of my favorite well daramanitan was one of my favorite pokemon back in the day the ice version the ice version is going to go in c i'm impartial to it 
The evolved form is going to go into C, but this here, this like angry form, I can't remember exactly what this is called. What is this called? Okay, this is known as the Zen mode. This Zen mode is just sick. Like, it's just sick though. Like, it's a snowman with like fire coming out of its, what is that? Its nose or it's like, I know it's not, not its real nose, but you know, where the nose is supposed to be on the snowman, that's what's coming out of. And I rate that. It's interesting. Glorian Stunfisk, I'm going to go with C. I know they tried to like spruce it up a little bit and make Stunfisk exciting, but for me, it just, it just isn't. Milseri is going to go into C. I'm impartial to it. Alcremia is going to go into B. Again, I would be impartial to it, but because it has so many forms, it makes me want to collect every single form, and that I will do <laughs> when I do my living decks. So that's going to go into a B, just because they gave us that challenge, you know, which I do appreciate. Phalanx, for me, is going to go into A. This Pokemon is such a sick concept. I really like what they did with it, and I'm glad to see it in the game. I do wish I had an evolution. I, I kind of don't like how it's just a one-of-one, one, but, you know, it is what it is. Pinchurchin, Pinkur Pinkurchin, Pin whatever this is, I'm going to go into D, because I... I haven't really seen this in the game, apart from the one that Hop had. I just don't care for this thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't care for it. Oh, Snom is going to go into A. I just love how small this thing is and just how small. It's just, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's just cool. We are then going to go Frostmouth. We're going to put it into B because I haven't really found myself loving this yet. Where well, I do love Snom. I do love Snom. Stone Jura again is going to go into, or Stone Journey is going to go into B. I like how it's based on the Stonehenge, and I know a lot of people don't like this one, but I do like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Ice Q is going to go into A. I just love this dumb Pokemon. It's so stupid. And when the ice melts, it just turns into another stupid ass <laughs> penguin face. That's going to go into there. I have to be honest, in DD, I'm impartial to it. I just don't care for it. You know, I don't, I don't care for it. I just don't. So that, that's, that's going to be best. Well, I'm not even impartial to it. I just don't like it. I actually don't like it. Morpeko is going to go into C. I'm impartial with it. The hangry form of Morpeko is going to go into B, though, because I do love that spin on the Pokemon. Kufin is going to go into B. I like it. Coppaja. Coppaja, I believe this one's called. I, I do like how it is so big, and I like it, but I'm going to go with the impartial, because I wish they kind of did a different type of design. Also, those who said in the Pokemon video that I forgot about Fampi and Donphan, I'm sorry, okay? But in my mind, this is more of an elephant style, like a traditional elephant style. I know they are elephant Pokemon technically, and Donphan for a long time was one of my favorite Pokemon when I was growing up. I had that in my gold and silver teams, and I loved that Pokemon. So I didn't, I didn't forget about it. I just meant like, this is like a traditional elephant, okay? You know what I'm saying? And someone said Mammoth Swine. My Mammoth Swine is a mammoth, bro. Come on, get off it. Mm, the, do, 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 do. the fossil Pokemon are going to go into C. I'm impartial to all of them because I don't know enough about them yet. However, Dracofish, I maybe will put this one a little bit higher in the list later down the line once I start to use it in competitive. Because I've heard it's a bit of a beast in competitive, so I may end up using it. But for now, it's in C, okay? For now, it's in C. Okay, so Juraludin is next. And although I did say this was one of my favorite Pokemon before in my tier list, when you know, I did a tier list of Sword and Shield Pokemon before the game came out, I am now going to put this into just B. I didn't find myself actually using it in the gameplay. I don't know why I didn't use it. I just didn't. When, I, when it came to it, it, I just didn't. And it was one of the last Pokemon I caught from my Pokedex as well. So, weirdly enough, before release, I, I liked it a lot. But now I kind of just, just like it. It's just, I like it for sure, but I'm not... I don't hate it, and I'm not impartial to it. I just, I, I like it, you know? Okay, Dreepy is going to go into I love it. Dracloak is going to go into I love it. And then Dracovol, I'm going to go into S tier. Just because I can really see myself... I like Salamence again. This gives me this gives me Salamence vibes, right? I love this Stealth Bomber on its head. Especially, it, it, it gives me Mega Salamence vibes, where it was like a Stealth Bomber, you know? It's got Stealth Bomber head. It fires the basic form Pokemon from its head. I mean, what, what more can you want? You know, what more can you want? Zacian as the sword form, I'm going to put in C. And then Zamazenta as, a, as the shield form, I'm going to put that into C. Whereas I'm going to put these Pokemon into, I like them. The, that, the actual Zacian and Zamazenta normal forms, I do like them a lot more than the, these forms, the uh, like shield versions. I can't remember what they call it. They call it like, they've got a name for it. I can't remember what they are. I think it's like, let me, let me find it. Okay, so the crown sword form. I'm not a massive fan of it. And then the crown shield form. I'm not a fan of those forms, but I am a fan. Well, I do like their other forms, you know? So that's why I've chose to put those where I put them here and here. And then Eternatus, Eternatus, whatever you call this. Again, I do, oh, nah, I do like this one. I like it. I like it. It's got a sick design, very fierce looking, very legendary looking, but I didn't find myself falling in love with it. 
it just is what it is you know if that makes sense it just is what it is okay so just a review on what i've done so far the pokemon i put into my s slash god tier are grookey rookie d corviknight toxel Graplock, Impidim, Perserker, Surfetched, and then Dracopult, Dragopult, sorry, I keep, really, I keep realizing I keep calling it Dracopult, um, I don't know why, but anyway, Dragopult, that's my S tier. I'm not going to go through every single Pokemon because I've already done that in this video, but as you can see, this is just a quick kind of like summary of the rest of my choices for those who want to see this. And now we're going to get into the Galarian forms, into the Gigantamax forms, sorry, I said Galarian, I meant Gigantamax. I don't know if I can actually rate these because I haven't used them enough, I don't know enough about them. I'm not even going to lie, I didn't even know the Gengar existed until recently and it's not a joke. I tried to not look at very many videos while I was playing my playthrough uh, so I was kind of staying away from the how to get Gigantamax Pokemon and all this stuff until I finished the game. So you know what? I might leave this for another video. I might do a Gigantamax tier list video down the line. I think that's best for that because then I can clear up all of these Pokemon here and I can start fresh and it's another piece of content for you guys to enjoy and maybe I can gonna have actual some time to get into these properly and see what I like about them, what I don't like about them when I use them and when I encounter them. I think I, I think that's only fair, you know. I do think that's fair. For example, Sandaconda, I haven't even used that, you know. G a Gigantamax form, I haven't used it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna kind of bite my tongue on these ones and I will come back to you guys with a full tier list of the Gigantamax form. But though, for now, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below where you would make changes in my tier list and where I really went wrong. In your opinion, do it nicely. Subscribe to the channel if you want already. Turn the notification bell on so you can see the videos when I post them and also so you can see my live streams. I'm going to be doing a lot more on the lead up to Christmas, hopefully. So yeah, my name is Randolph. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.